One of Sioux City's busiest roadways is in need of a complete makeover. But KCA United reporter Dylan Adams tells us there's another setback to the planning stage for the Gordon Drive Viaduct project. Hey Tim, the Gordon Drive Viaduct connects 20,000 vehicles from the east side of Sioux City to downtown on a daily basis. So its reconstruction plan is vital to the future of the city's transportation. We haven't really determined where exactly we're going to go with the project. We aren't soliciting um, the project for the five-year program at this time. Dakin Schultz with the Iowa DOT says the reconstruction of both the Gordon Drive Viaduct and the Bacon Creek Conduit will experience a, quote, minor delay after city officials requested to reopen conversations with the railways that run parallel to Lewis Boulevard and underneath the current viaduct. What we've done is we've paused on our planning study work with the with the uh, Bacon Creek Conduit and the Gordon Drive Viaduct to try and re-engage the rail companies. Schultz says the city was presented alternative solutions for the renovation last year, but both options run into right-of-way issues with the railroads. One potential strategy included shutting down Gordon Drive for two years while a new underground conduit was installed. And although the project isn't in the five-year planner yet, Schultz remains optimistic after recent federal infrastructure bills provided the state with more financial resources for the future. We're looking at about a 30 percent increase and that preserves most of the of our formula funds. So the the funds that we saw in the last transportation bill are still in existence. There's some additional funds, there's uh, some additional bridge money coming to the state of Iowa, which is a good thing. And Schultz tells me once a preferred alternative solution is chosen, the DOT will go back to the public and speak with impacted property owners about how the project's design will affect them. For now, Dylan Adams, KCAU 9 News.